The Georgia poultry industry, of course, has a multi-billion dollar economic impact to the state's economy. But in order to fill poultry houses around the state with birds, some farmers have to collect the eggs. Recently, the Monitor's Mark Wildman visited one of those farms. In Jeff Davis County, these three poultry houses not only provide income for the farmer, but they also enhance a farming operation that is planning for the next generation. Jamie Tate owns these houses that produce eggs for the poultry industry. My great-grandfather came down here out of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Mainly tobacco crop was the big thing to grow. So he moved down here in 37 and bought our farm we have today. And it's been, I'm the fourth generation farmer, and I hope my two sons can keep it going on and be the fifth generation. Every day these houses produce eggs that are sent down a conveyor belt, graded, and packed up. The main thing we look for is double yolk eggs, or eggs are too small or cracked, and some of them will be have a deformed shell or soft shell, that's the main eggs to call out. We get pullets at age 22 weeks, and at 23, 24 weeks they start laying eggs, and we, we gather the eggs for the hatchery, and then they pick them up from us twice a week where they go to the hatchery. In order for this farm to be productive and profitable, a very high percentage of the eggs need to be good for hatching and the industry has very high standards. Uh, we have a supervisor comes by once a week and assists us with weights and all. Uh, they check blood. Right now we have approximately 36,000 hens. We're picking up around 27 to 28,000 eggs a day. And uh, of the 27, 28,000 eggs, about a percent, percent and a half of coal eggs, double yolks, too small or cracks. Quality is key to this operation and to ensure healthy birds all the conditions in these modern houses are controlled. Computerized feeding, watering, and ventilation is critical to healthy birds. But the farmer still has to put in some long hours. Yeah, I'm down here at 3.30 every morning to make sure that uh, they get fed. It's all computer controlled, electronic, but I'm here just in case something does go wrong and I can back it up and do it manually. But it's all automatic, but I just make sure because they get one feed in a day. None of this comes cheap either. Jamie is only 36 years old and has made a significant investment in his farm and his community as well. There is just over a million dollars invested in these three houses to get uh, all the pad work, construction to finish. Just over a million dollars invested. Even though Jamie has made a major investment, already plans are being made for further expansion. We're in the process right now of uh, going through another loan and getting house number four added on. They're doing an expansion and I'm on the list to get a house. And I mean, as we're speaking right now, I'm going through paperwork and getting things ready for house number four. And all farmers know this, there's a lot of capital investments, time and all, but if you're gonna be here, there comes a time that you have to make the decision if you're gonna stay the same or get bigger. All of the eggs collected here go to a local hatchery where they are hatched and sent on to other farms to be raised. Not only are these eggs good for Georgia's economy, they are helping to ensure this farm is passed down to the next generation as well. Reporting from Jeff Davis County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.